so I want to talk to y'all about Rise of the Cults. For everything, there's always a shadow side, right? For example, you know how, like right now, you hear a lot about the collective awakening, you know, this big mass awakening and people starting to come together, and, which is true, right? A lot of people are coming together, but there's a shadow side to that. And the shadow side of that is Rise of the Cults. If you watch this video, what I want you to do is I want you to go back and study, right? Study like back in the day what people like Jim Jones and how he was, oh, there's wind, there's wind hitting, but how he was, um, how he was able to manipulate people and created this cult and ended up, ha and ended up doing this mass suicide by like, I think they were drunk Kool-Aid or something that was filled with poison. And he was able to do that because at the time, People were isolated. Um, people were isolated and a lot was going on. So it was easy for him to, for people like that, who they are geniuses. They are extremely smart, you know, intellect, intellectually uh, on another level. And they're able to relate through, through, through to outcasts, right? They're, they're able to tap into their emotions. And when they do that, and they make you feel like, you are, in a sense, in a sense, they are you, you know, and then from there, that's how they manipulate you. Uh, psychological attacks obviously always start in the mind. Spiritual attacks always start in the mind. It's got to get to your mind first. And then from there, from there, it, uh, it starts to weigh heavy, you know, even if you don't realize it. So when people are feeling lost or feeling like, you know, have some type of pain or something like that, somebody just comes out of nowhere and just, man, I relate to that, you know, I relate to that. And they smooth with their words. If you're not strong, it'll be real easy, easy to get manipulated. What I feel like is happening now with the with the rise of consciousness um, and, and, and so many people waking up at such a at such a such a fast rate. Is I feel like we see in rise of the cults too on the shadow side of that. You got to be very careful of that. You got to know who you is. You gotta you gotta listen to your spirit. Um, <clears throat> don't don't things can easily turn into religion, you know. Easily turn into religion, and don't go against your spirit, you know. One thing I've realized from as far as spirituality, right? The higher I go, I guess, right. Or the further I get, it's like I keep coming back to the start. <clears throat> what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is, I'm trying to say hi to my neighbor, but. <laughs> but um, what I mean by that is, right, is what it coming back to the start is. Everything I do, right, it's always like back to childhood. When I get to the finishing, you get what like things that truly make me happy or things that I have to overcome or whatever it always goes back to the beginning of me even being on this round. Now, right now you're in one lifetime, right? You're in you're in one body right now, having one experience right now, right? Document it. Nobody can really sit here and tell you how to go about that. But you, you are the spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what makes you happy even if you forgot. You know what makes you feel good even if you forgot. And we tend to forget because of traumatic experiences, because of uh, distractions, all types of things. We forget what actually made us made us happy, right? And that truly had some, That truly was our spirit. So we start getting lost and. And all these different things, and and, and and we and we and we go astray, you know, from which puts us away from our purpose, because a lot of us got big purpose, you know. Perfect example is when I was a kid, right? When I was a kid, uh, it was Valentine's Day. I was I was in elementary school, and I made this. I like stapled a bunch of papers, like colored papers together, and I drew all these hearts on it. It was for my mother, right? 
I drew all these hearts on it. I drew just like I love you. Like, it was, like, really long. Like, I just stapled mad different colored papers together. And I remember the art teacher was like, oh, if I was your mother, to, you know, you would be just getting all types of just gifts and stuff for this. Like, right? It's glasses. My glasses started giving me marks on my eyes. But, um, she so she said that. And, um, I remember I went home, I gave it to my mother, right? Love my mom, right? I gave it to my mother, right? She was like, oh, like my mom, she, she's, a, she's an Igbo woman, you know, from Nigeria. She not really, you know, she just, it's just different. You know, if you got a third world country parent, you know, or, or you know, it's just, it's just, they show they love them, just different, right? So, not too long after that, I seen it like, in a in a in a in a in a good in a dumpster, right? I was heartbroken. I'm like, damn, like I'm tight, bro. Seen the whole sh I don't she did like some spring cleaning or whatever. It was gone. You know, she didn't really probably wasn't even paying attention. The whole thing was just in the dumpster, right? That right there made me say, you know what, I, I don't wanna <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't screw art. You know, from a set and things like this, we tend to forget. We for tend to forget memories like this and we tend to forget uh, what caused us to go to, to, to just go another way. Right. We tend to forget. We got to remember. But you only remember that through like uh, uh, quieting the mind. So meditation is very good for things like that. You got to quiet the mind. You got to live. That's what they mean by go within and listen to your spirit. You got to remember things. Right. Because we're documenting these experiences here. Right. So, um, moving forward, my father, he was always in prison, my father, right? So, when I was a kid, I didn't know my father, like I said, he was always in prison. I remember I drew, because I was always super creative, always into my imagination. I drew a, um, like a picture, stick figures of him, because I was a big Dragon Ball Z fan. I always, like, in my mind, I'm always Gohan, and, you know, he's Goku or whatever, right? So I'm drawing it like a stick figures, and I'm putting, like, the Super Saiyan hair. Dad, I love you, you know? I know I don't know you, but I love you, right? And I gave it to my mom. I'm like, Mom, and I knew he was in prison. So I'm like, Mom, you can mail this to him? Because I don't know how. I'm a kid. She's like, all right, yeah. So one day she at work, and, you know, you know, kids, we adventurous. I start going through her closet. And um, just just being a kid, right? And I found it just crumpled up. At that point, I'm, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was kind of over for the creative aspect of myself. That right there went into my subconscious for a while. To the point where when I got into middle school, I remember I was going out with this girl named Kim. I'm around all, I'm around my boys, right? I'm in, I'm in sixth grade. And, you know, that's, for me, that's when it started getting real wild in life. Like, I started meeting you know, the, the turn up, you know, the, the goons, what we call them, right? I started getting involved and I'm going out with this girl named Kim. And one day I go to school and everybody, all my boys, my the, what I would call my team at the time, they was all like, yo, we breaking up with our girls today. I don't, I don't even want to go into it. I don't know what, we just young, dumb, right? We breaking up with our, yo, you down with it? And I'm like, yeah, of course I'm down with it. You know, me have something, just, just being... Thinking as, you know, just being running on a program, the music at the time was songs like 50 Cent, P-I-M-P, you know, all this stuff. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I don't have that guidance. I don't have that balance. This is, this is I'm thinking it's official, right? So I remember I took a Band-Aid and I went up to Kim. I'm so sorry for this story. I went up to Kim. I'm sorry, but I'm the reason I say I'm not sorry, because I learned from it. I grew from it at the same time. I went up to Kim. I gave her, she had a locker. My boys is around. I give her a band aid. I'm like, she like, what this? What what's this for? I'm like, cause you cut. Everybody started laughing, but in my heart, I knew deep down. I'm like, it was almost like I just sacrificed a piece of myself to make others happy. Um, thinking, I like you know, you know what I'm saying? And it goes back to what I said about the cult following. Be careful with people, cause you may do things, but you're gonna feel it. You're going to feel it in here. And, and right there, you're going to know. Like, all right, this ain't for me. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. You know, don't don't, don't be a follower, right? Because at this time, this would be me being a follower. I'm a kid. I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't have that guidance. So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm doing stupid stuff. Making stupid mistakes. About, I want to say two weeks after that, I go to my locker. And I see a picture. And it's a drawing of a black heart. 
and it, and, 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 and it said, you have a black heart, I hate you, right? I knew it was from her that hit me. And, um, and, and when I look back at that, it's like, I still remember that. You get what I'm saying? I still remember that. I Like, I, I'm sober. Like, I've never smoked, drunk, any of that. So my mind be super, like, super clear on a lot of things. Like, as far as, like, memories. Like, I remember a lot. And a lot of y'all don't remember a lot of things. You know, there's a lot of people who don't remember. Even me being sober, like... I'm not better than nobody, but I'm just saying I still had to meditate and do a lot of things to even remember certain memories. So it's a lot of things you don't remember on why you're on what's holding you back, why you have certain fears and why you're not um, why you're not in certain areas of life. You should be. And you got to go back and you got to deal with that. You got to you, you got to deal with that. You got to learn from that. You got to grow from that. But you got to listen to your spirit. Nobody can tell you those memories. You have to, you know, um, Nobody can, can, you have to go within, you're, you're the source, you get what I'm saying, you're, you're the spirit, you're the vessel for your, for your spirit, you got to go within, and you got to do this spiritual work, that's spiritual work right there, that's the true spiritual work, um, don't get caught up too much in all the other stuff, bro, because you don't know who's who, don't get caught up in all that, do the spiritual work and grow from that, because at the end of the day, I know when I leave this body, I'm going to have to look back at things like that and all the dumb things I did and really feel, you know, because when I'm in meditation, I try to feel how that person I hurt felt. I, I want to feel how they felt, or what they might have been going through their lives when some dumb kid came up to them and did that to them and broke up with them in front of everybody, you know? And then when you start, you, you, you feel things from their perspective, right? And you go into their mind, that's how you grow. You start to learn. You start to be like, oh, okay. You know, you start to understand people more. That's what this is about. You want to understand people. You want to evolve. You want to grow. You don't want to just be ignorant to things, and then, and then end up, you know, getting manipulated on a deeper level by somebody who you think is like you, because they may look like you and they talk real smooth and they and they may have a, a just a certain aura about them or a certain a certain presence about them that's strong that you may be attracted to. I feel like they're. Tr I feel like what's going on in the world is timelines are being looped. It's like the, like they're trying to bring the past into now. And right now, I see that rise of the cult. You know, there was a time when cults were a big thing. Uh, uh, when you even right now, this happened six years ago. I read this. No, I read this recently, but it's from six years ago in Pennsylvania, um, Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. There's a Literally, there was an article about the Ku Klux Klan, a chapter in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, and they were basically saying, oh, we're not violent, we're not, you know, we're just, we just basically empower our race, and we're your next door neighbors, your mailmen, all this stuff, right? And I'm like, damn, that's crazy, like, so, you know, like, they literally, literally just put it out there. Imagine how much stronger they are now from six years ago because they said they were just recruiting and recruiting and recruiting. Imagine how deep they are now. But the type of people that are being recruited into that are people who don't have that, who feel like there's been something taken away from them. You know, they feel like they, they just, they, 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 they fell for the distractions and the illusions of this world and they fell for the race traps, you know? They fell for the race traps. So it's easy for them to get pulled into something. But then when you get pulled into something and you believe in it so strongly, how easy would it be for that person to say, well, if you're really down for this, I'm going to need you to do this. I'm going to need you to do that. That's when you start That's when you start getting used and abused, you know? Look, look, at, what, look at how many people was getting molested and raped by cult leaders and all that, you know? Or, or, or leaders, I should say, that were really cult leaders in the past. And that's the shadow side of what I see happening. And I, and I definitely see that on the rise, as I observe, you know. So listen to what I said about doing a going within and basically figuring out why you are a certain way. Figure out your flaws. For, look at look at look at the things that you did when you harmed people, when you hurt people, even if you think you were in the right, believe you were in the right and try to look at it from a perspective as hard as it may be and grow from that. You know, listen to your spirit, man, you know. Forget, forget even me talking. Forget me. Think about you. Listen, you know, this is this message is for you.